Today we're going to make a still life in the style of Roy Lichtenstein. And a still life is a drawing of still objects. That's why it's called a still life. And Roy Lichtenstein did a few still lifes, but he made them look like a cartoon, like it came out of a comic book. So every table is going to have a few objects on it. No trading with other tables. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. And when you start drawing, good plan is look at the object you have. And most of you have some kind of a bowl or cup. We want to start with the top. Now, if you take your pencil and trace in the air, the top on my cup is shaped like what? Shaped like an oval. It's not a circle because I'm looking at it from an angle. So I'm going to go big and draw an oval. And notice I am drawing very lightly. That way I can erase my mistakes. Then next step is draw the sides of your big object. So do you have a mug where the sides go straight down, where they're vertical? Do you have a bowl where the sides curve in? And it's helpful, you can take your pencil and kind of trace it in the air. And that will give you an a clue as to what angle it should go at. So I know my sides, on this cup are very, very straight. They're vertical. All right, now we have the bottom of the object. Trace that in the air too. And it's curved, it's not flat. So I'm going to put a curve on here. So I have a nice cylinder. Still drawing really lightly. And then I can work in my handle. We're not worrying about drawing the picture on your cup if there is one on there. We're going to kind of add our own decoration. What we're drawing is called contour lines. We're drawing the main lines of the object, the real lines, the ones that you can feel. So I can't feel the letters on this cup because they're printed on. I can feel the top of the cup and the handle. So that's contour. I also have these little markers sticking up. So for that, I'm going to hold my pencil and look at the angle figure out what direction those markers are going. I'm also trying to think about size. Try to make them so they're the right size compared to the cup. Still drawing really lightly and don't worry if it's not perfect. All right, and still using that pencil to figure out angles. My caps, the lines look kind of straight. And then erase what I don't need. Another reason why we draw light till we get it right. Then I have this shell here. It's not a simple object. It's a little more complicated. So once again, take the pencil and in the air, I'm kind of tracing to figure out what kind of shape it is. Which makes it easier for me to draw. And I'm not drawing all these wonderful little ridges on here. Because there's hundreds of ridges. Now the big lines, the big bumps that I can feel, I will include those. So there's a few places where the ridge sticks out. And then I'm gonna draw a table. And you can invent a really simple background. So is there a window here? Is there a curtain here? Just like I said before, we're just doing contour, the main lines of the object, not the decorations. That will come later. As you can see, I added a super simple background. Line for the table, line to show the bottom of a window, curtain. And I didn't draw any decorations yet. Your next mission is take a permanent marker and trace your lines. And yes, you may use a ruler as needed for your work. And now that I'm done tracing my lines, one thing I like to do, see all these pencil sketches? One thing I like to do when I'm done tracing is just take a big eraser and go over all those pencil lines to make them disappear.